Hello there, this is my girlfriend who... Try, sorry, that was really... Hello, Hello there. Oh, hey there, this is my girlfriend who I've been dating for a little over a year now, so we've gotten to know each other pretty well. Or have we? Yeah, no pressure, but if you don't get every single one of these correctly, then I'm going to think that you hate me and don't care about me at all. That's already the case. Oh! <laughs> Although I will say, it's sort of a little bit unfair, because I've basically shared my life online. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's assuming you've ever watched any of my videos, which... Finally, it's come and bit you in the butt. I've told you everything about my life, though, so... Have you? Hmm. If you pay attention to what I said. Back in California, like before, like when I was a kid, uh, all three, okay, all three of these are in California. Uh, our family actually had two bunnies, Smokey and Flappy, uh, who once pooped in the cat litter box, and my mom got concerned and took it to the vet, where we actually found out that uh, Flappy was pregnant. Or... I had to have an unplanned root canal during a routine checkup on Valentine's Day. And finally, we used to have hermit crabs, and one day one of them literally crawled out of its shell all day. And so one of the, like, the first movie I ever made was just like pictures of it, and I called it Crabs Unshelled, and didn't even think about it. Uh, okay, I know number two is the truth. Yes, you told me about it. Crap. <laughs> I remember it happening too. It's basically hermit crabs or bunnies. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of tricking me. Making me believe that it's the truth because it's too specific. But that could be the truth too, because you're kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like there's so many details that can't be a lie. You're a bad liar. Too. I am a, such a horrible liar. So that's why I'm just keeping my mouth shut. Okay, number one is the lie. True, correct, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Smoky and floppy. Those are the most generic bunny names I could think of. Yeah, and I could see the number three happening too. You naming that video that. <laughs> so we're one to, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I accidentally killed my hamster once. How? I can't tell you how. Number two. I've never been outside the country. Number three, I was on live television. I feel like you have been out of the country once. To where? I don't remember. Shocking turn of events, I'm gonna say number two is the lie. You've never been out of the country. Wait, no, that was the comment. Can you repeat number two again? I've never been outside the country. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's true. I'm pretty sure you've never been outside of Malaysia. I feel like number three could be true too. So I'm gonna have to go with the lie. But I can totally see you killing a hamster. Am I that bad? <laughs> but I feel like the live television one could happen like on the news. But that seems like the least believable out of the three of them. So I'm gonna go with... Number one, hamster. That's the lie? Yeah, I think that's the lie. You are a <laughs> You've never mentioned having a hamster before. I was, I thought I was so clever. I was a kid, a little kid. I have been outside the country. When? Why, how? I told you I went to Indonesia. She did earlier today. Yeah. We were talking about that. I am an idiot. Dang. So? Well, we're off to a, a great start here. Joy, joy, joy. So that was the lie. Yeah. So I get zero points. You are beating me. You know how I killed my hamster? N no. It was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. Like I said, I was a kid. Like a little kid. And animal abuse. I saw the syringe to put. I saw a syringe for putting ink into the printer, but it was already washed out, so I didn't know it was for the ink. <laughs> and then I saw 
my hamster was like thirsty, like that. <laughs> and then feel free to jiff that. <laughs> I put the water in the syringe. No. And drink it. No. I know. I'm so bad. I'm so Poor kid. hamster. And then the next morning, it was like, yeah, like that. Come <laughs> <laughs> not even kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hamster. What was his name? I don't even remember. That was such a long time ago. Dang. And I was on live television during our art exhibition. I was like, I was taking the place for my president, uh, for our president in Fine Arts Society. So I was giving speech and there was like, actual news going on and then I was got interviewed. Hey, you got famous? For like five seconds. <laughs> yeah, you got your five seconds of fame. Mm -hmm. Whoops, let me kick the camera. I once froze a camera by forgetting it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I was at an event at the YouTube space and I saw Sarah Dietschy, like on the other side of the room, uh, but her mouth was full of the free food. And so I was like sitting there waiting to talk to her cause like I wanted to say hi, mm -hmm. but like someone else started talking to her. So that was, that's, that's her only impression of me. Hmm. Or number th three. I no longer have in my possession the first camera I ever used because I dropped it in the toilet after taking a dump. They're all three camera related. Number one and number three. <laughs> number one. <laughs> <laughs> no toilet jokes. <laughs> Can you, you're not going to toy let them slide. Ha! <laughs> slide? Men are disgusting. <laughs> number one and number three are oddly shorter than the second one. But I know number one happened. I thought you already, ha you still have your first camera. Oh no, you don't have your first camera anymore. Okay, number two is the lie. Correct! <gasps> Dang it! Yes! I've never met Sarah Dietschy. I want to. So bad. Sarah, let's hang. Platonically. <laughs> no, I can join. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two. How have you done to Girls me? Girls are disgusting. <laughs> okay. Number one. I stalked my ex crush till I found out his actual address. I can so see you doing that. A hundred percent. I, I, I already believe that's the truth. Excuse me. <laughs> Number two, I punched a man in the face. I can also see you absolutely doing that. No questions asked. Number three, I laughed and peed myself in public. Like, at any time during the future, or like recently? A while back. Did I say the future? I definitely meant the past. <laughs> That a while back, like in the past. Define punch a man. Like in the face? Mm -hmm. Like you got so mad and then you, pan uh, you punch him in the face. I'm gonna go with that's the lie. Mm -hmm. You never punched someone before. True. <laughs> hey! How do you know that? Because you're a sweet, innocent little girl who would never... Mm. I'm gonna be doing the rest of the video like this. Maybe this is gonna be the first time <laughs> that we have it. And finally, the moment of truth, the final round. It's the final. What? I can't think of anything that would work. Never mind. Can I do that again? And finally, this is it. The final round. The moment where everything gets real. Are you ready to find out if our relationship is built on truth or lies? Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> so my father has wanted to have his own bee farm. Why for... is it so long? <laughs> Sometimes the what truth is, is long. I mean, the lot. Ah! <laughs> Kill me now. Did I just ruin this entire video? I mean, I know the truth, but I don't know the lie yet. So. True. You're a horrible lie. <laughs> I am. Such... Okay. I guess that's a good thing in life. Like, not being able to lie well? Uh, well, can I at least finish the story? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to hear the story. The Yeah, the story, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is just a story. <laughs>
So my father's wanted to have his own bee farm for years. So when we had moved from California to North Carolina, like the South, he finally did. He researched everything. He bought the bee house, suits for him and me, you know, because I was like his oldest son, and the bees and the queen. And that is how we found out my father is allergic to bee stings. That's horrible. Yeah. Okay, that's the truth. <laughs> One of these is a lie. One day I spent the day in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Just a day. A couple mm -hmm. hours. Just spent it in Mexico. Mm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's it. Sorry, Tom? When I was 12, I was so obsessed with, po with Pokemon that my email was, and I quote, pokelover247 at gmail.com You told me that before. <laughs> or poke lover. Poke lover 24-7. Yeah, I know now. I didn't know then. My parents convinced me to change it. Or did they? Yeah, you said you've already, already told me. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you change it. I know your email now. If you have questions or need life advice, email me at chrisportahowitt at gmail.com. Uh, I thought it was... Crap! <laughs> I keep kicking the stupid tripod. I thought it was pandidly at gmail.com. Pandidly who? I'm sorry, pandidly can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh! Because she's dead. <laughs> that is so lame. I okay. So okay. which of those is... Number two. Number two? That is the shortest story I've ever heard. Ready? Is that your final answer? And I have spent a day in Mexico. You know what didn't happen? My father getting the bees he wanted. That was all a lie. Except it's mixed with truth. My father has always wanted a bee farm. Uh. But he has never gotten one. Yeah, do you like my whole fake out? You like the fake out? The, oh yes, I'm so horrible at lying. <laughs> You're horrible at lying. I am. Okay. I guess that's a good thing in life. You want to know something? What? We're tied. We're tied. So is there a sudden death or something? <laughs> I don't think I've ever told you any of this. So I don't know if you would. No. Right. Number one. I was up for more than 36 hours. Holy crap. Once. Number two, I've had a medical surgery. Number three, I was caught stealing. I can see you doing all of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, medical surgery, stealing, what was the first? I was up for more than 36 hours. That one I'm almost certain is true. Because of college and how stressful it was. I don't know. Is it? I feel like there might be more to the story. Like you were, you got a candy bar that you were going to pay for, but then some. No, it was really intentional. For the sake of hoping you're a good person, I'm going to go. Wait. Have you ever had surgery? I'm. Oh, I'm going to last minute flip this. I'm going to say you have n never had like surgery where they opened you up. Final answer. True. <laughs> ah! Oh! Okay. I need to explain about the stealing story. Yes, you do. I was like in primary three, so I was like hmm, seven. Can you eight, translate nine. that for Americans? Uh, wait, wait. Primary four. So like fourth seven, grade? Seven, eight, nine. I was 10 years old. Mm. I <laughs> Old enough to know right from wrong. I went out with my friends after school and then I really wanted this little candy, little candy like this. And then <laughs> mm -hmm. I grabbed one and then I ran and then someone caught me. And you live with that on your conscience to this day. Yeah, I gave it, I gave it back then. I didn't know I was dating a criminal. Have you no respect for the law? Have you no conscience? I gave it back! I can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry. <sighs> Bye. I'm taking over the channel. <laughs> Hi. What am I doing? Do I win? <laughs> I think I win.
Right? Because we were tied. <gasps> no! I was supposed to win. Ah, 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 ah. You don't always get everything you want in life, like chocolate. Or the candy bar. I'm assuming it was chocolate. It could also not it's have been like chocolate. like a little candy. Was it chocolate? Someone caught me. That was the first time that I steal, that I stole something and the last time. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a good girl now. I never steal anything else. Not even your heart. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> On that lovely note, if you want to give, <laughs> no, if you wanna, I'm sorry. If you want to give Susan some love, I put all her, all her socials down below. Give her some love, and uh, remember to always stay positive. Hey.